Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishnakanda Handik State Open University. Here is the third video of Unit 10, William Shakespeare, Macbeth, where we shall discuss the major themes, style and language. This is from the course Journey English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. Starting with the table of contents, where I shall discuss the learning objectives, followed by the major themes, style and language, questions to check your progress and the references. To begin with the learning objectives, after going through this video, the learner will be able to highlight some of the major themes in the play Macbeth and briefly discuss the style and language of the play. To highlight some of the major themes in the play, the plays of William Shakespeare reflect his deep understanding of human nature and society. Macbeth, in the manner of the morality plays which originated in medieval England, reflects the battle between good and evil. Shakespeare's Macbeth deals with various themes such as corruption and misuse of power, difference between kingship and tyranny, etc. One of the major themes in Macbeth is the corruption of man brought about by uncontrolled ambition and lust for power. We see that the downfall and consequent deaths of Macbeth and Lady Macbeth are a result of their excessive desire for power and the throne of Scotland. The play reveals that Macbeth is not an evil man and yet he succumbs to the human weaknesses for power and success. The crime committed by the couple had only resulted in more bloodshed as Macbeth had to commit more murders to hide the truth and at the same time get rid of people who posed as threats. Another theme that is evident in the play is the theme of violence which is the obvious product caused by the corrupted nature of uncontrolled ambition and desire for power. Good governance and duties of a king has also been a major concern in the plays of Shakespeare. This is evident in Macbeth as well, where the playwright draws a line between good kingship and tyrannical rule. It is significant that throughout the play, King Duncan is referred to in an honourable way as the king, whereas Macbeth becomes notoriously infamous as the quote-unquote tyrant. So you see the difference? Come to your style in language. Shakespeare was a 16th century playwright and as such the language that he uses is essentially archaic in style. It is important to note that he had written the play in a particular style, keeping in view his contemporary age and society. Also, the use of symbols and images add to the intensity of the play. For example, the symbol of blood has been a prominent presence throughout the play. It is specifically highlighted in the words of Macbeth and Lady Macbeth to suggest their violent mindset and thinking. Shakespeare as a playwright and a dramatist studied human nature minutely, taking into account both its virtues and vices, as you also get to see in the play. This brings us to the end of this video. Here are the questions to check your progress, starting with question number one. What does the plays of William Shakespeare reveal in general? Question number two. What does the play Macbeth deal with? Question number three. Highlight any two major themes evident in the play Macbeth. Question number four. Write a few words on the theme of good governance and duties in the play Macbeth. Question number five. Give an example of a symbolic image used by William Shakespeare in the play Macbeth. Here are the references. That is BA English, Graduate self learning Material, SLM, of General English, Block 2, Semester 1. This is Unit 10. And this is the final video of this particular unit. I hope it will be beneficial for you, dear learners. Thank you.